for you saw me with eternal eyes. Why was today's deliverance? Find out separation from water spirit attack. But first, let's go to some scriptures. Nahum, chapter 2, verse 6. The gates of the rivers shall be opened, <laughs> and the palace shall be dissolved. The gates of the river shall be opened, and the palace dissolved. The gates Please, have you seen any gate inside a river before? Hello? Have you seen any gate inside a river before? There is no physical gate inside a river. There is a spiritual gate that people are locked in. Many people are prisoners unconscious prisoners to mommy water to water spirits but he said the gate shall be dissolved yeah. read it again uh -huh. the gates of the rivers shall be opened the gate of the river shall be opened and what again and the palace shall be dissolved wait to the palace shall be dissolved the palace I want to understand something. Palace, inside river. Palace, palace. When you have a, before you can have a palace, you must have a kingdom. Hello? Before you have a palace, there is a kingdom. So if you have a palace, you must have a king and a queen. You can't have a palace without a king and a queen. So, there is a gate inside the water and there is a palace inside the water. There is a kingdom inside the water and there is a king and a queen inside the water. I don't know the king and the queen inside the water holding you captive. Holding what belongs to you captive. Today, that palace shall be dissolved. I said that palace shall be dissolved. Yeah. It's black and white there. Yeah. It's sad when some pastor say there is nothing like mommy water. Any pastor saying there is no mommy water, that pastor is under the possession of mommy water. Yes. Many of them are under mommy water influence. There is no way even abroad, they have mammy water. There are witches in London, witch. In fact, they don't, they don't even hide the witch. In America, there's a place called Louisiana. They are into voodoo, voodoo. And if you watch anywhere that is so much concentration of voodoo, there is no improvement in that place. There is a country close to America. It's called Haiti. They are into so much voodoo. And they are so poor. Extreme poverty. When you allow Satan to have control over your life, you become a slave to him. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Isaiah 27, verse 1. In that day. In which day? Today. Eh? In that day, the Lord with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Lavetan, the piercing serpent, even Lavetan, the crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. There is a dragon 
living in the sea. There is a dragon. And the Lord said, today, not tomorrow, today, he's going to destroy that life yeah. That crooked serpent that resides in the sea. Shout hallelujah. Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Hello, there was war in heaven. And those demons that rebelled against God were thrown away from heaven. Look at what happened. Huh? Rejoice, O heaven. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Rejoice, O heaven. For, the, for, for Satan had been thrown away from heaven. But woe to the inhabitants of the earth. For the devil has come down, not only to the earth, to the sea. And to, is there in the Bible? There, we just read it. Some, when they were chased away from heaven, some landed on earth, some landed in the sea. The ones that landed on earth are there doing so much havoc. Then the ones that landed in the sea, the, do I mention this? Some landed on the earth. Read it again. Therefore rejoice, uh -huh. ye heavens, uh -huh. and ye that dwell in them. Uh -huh. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knew it, that he had but a short time. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea. For the devil have come down. Have come down. Have that scriptures in your mind. Jeremiah 51, verse 13. Oh, that dwellers upon many waters. Many, many waters. Not one, no. Is there any human being living in water? Hello? Is there any human being living in any water? Uh -huh. Abundant in treasures. The end is come. <laughs> Whoa! Living in many waters. Living, residing in many waters. He lives in the water in Nigeria. He lives in the water in the Atlantic Ocean. Listen. Your end has come. Your end has come. I say your end has come. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 26. And that they may recover themselves. Out that of the me day. and you may recover ourselves. Eh? Out of the snare of the devil. Out of the snare of the devil. Who are taken captive by him at his will. That is, at his own will, he held many people captive. At, not at the person's will, though, at his own will. Many people are held captive against their will. Against their will. Not that they wanted to be in captivity, but they are being held against their will. Read it again. And that they may recover themselves. That they may recover. When are you going to recover yourself today? That they may recover themselves. That they may deliver themselves. That they may be come out from that captivity. That they may recover themselves. Uh -huh. Out of the snare of the devil. What is a snare? A snare is like a cage. A snare is like a prison. A snare is something that is binding them. That they may recover themselves from out of the snare of the devil. Out of the snare, out of the captivity of the devil, out of the chain of the devil, out of the prison of the devil, who have held them at his own will. Today, something must happen. Mami water is one of the most dangerous demons. Some fell on earth. 
some fell in the river. Those ones that fell in the river are very, very deadly. They will send them out in a shed them. There is no way those that are into spiritual things, like some people that, that are watching me now, that are into, that, are, that, that have stopped being into cultism, they are informally into cultism, into, into Oboni, into this thing. You, you can, you know, you understand what I'm saying more, that witchcraft and marine, nobody the same power. And nobody the same wickedness. The wickedness of mammy water is more deadlier than witchcraft. So many people have been held captive by this mammy water. Sometimes it goes from generation to generation. A woman that washes mammy water as she's about to die, she will transfer it to her daughter. So that she transfer it to her son. It has destroyed so many people. It takes one contact. What I mean, one contact, one sexual contact to be captured by this marine agent. And the funny thing that they don't have on their forehead, I am a marine agent. Because if they have it, nobody will want to near them. They wear suit, three-piece suit like me and you. They wear skirt and blouse like another person. But you enter. Finish. End of discussion. Mr. A, I need just two volunteers. Come. So you understand what I mean. Two. But I can't it. They don't do that, but I'm using it as an example. This young man, in his whole entire life, he has slept with only two ladies. Since the mother gave birth to him. And inside the two ladies, only one is a mammy water agent. Then this man has slept with one million women. One million. Inside the one million, none of them is marine agent. But this one have more problem than this one. It takes one mommy water man or mommy water woman to turn your destiny upside down. Castle it, Jesus. Castle it, Jesus. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One contact. You are wrecked. It doesn't depend on size. It doesn't depend on age. Shout hallelujah. That is why we're having to final separation from water spirit attack. Now, sources. How do we, this marine agent, how do they have entry point into our life? As the message going on, the going on, bow your head, wherever you are, whether you're watching from anywhere in the world, whether you're watching from anywhere in the world, ask God for mercy. Ask him to forgive you. Any sin that want to hinder your deliverance today, Ask God to forgive. In Jesus' name, pray. Repeat after me, Father Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I have done so many terrible things against you. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. And transfer it to the book of life. I promise, starting from today, I will never go back to my old ways again. 
I will never go back to my sins again. Give me a second chance. In Jesus' name. Wonderful and great God, you say the word, if my people that are called by name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I am from heaven and I forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Heal the land of children, they cleanse them, wash them, let them water and snow. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. Old things have passed away and never have become new. So, sources of water spirits. Pollution. Number one, ancestral and parental pollution. Ancestral and parental pollution. If your father or your mother or your great grandparents were marine worshippers, there is a possibility of it affecting you. Stand up. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I break myself free. I break my wife free. I break all my children free. From every water spirit pollution flowing in one water compound, open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus will pray. Every covenant my parents entered with mommy water that is now affecting me by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Break and release me. They enter into covenant saying, ah, Whatever they call the name of that particular, say, look, oh, we are serving you now. We enter the covenant. Once I finish serving you, my daughter is taking over. My son is taking over. We will continue to serve you. We will not stop serving you. Like I, every covenant, my parents entered into with water spirit. That is now affecting me. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I break myself free. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Yes. In Jesus, we pray. It's done. Sources of marine spirit pollution. Number two, environmental pollution. Environmental pollution. Your environment, so many people's environment is saturated with water spirits. There are some communities that worship serpents, they worship snake. There are some house that was built with money generated from mummy water altar. The landlord used money. It gone through mummy water, through water spirit to erect the house, the environment. There are some people, as I'm talking now, there is water spirit altar 
in the compound. Hmm. I'm getting a message. There's somebody here. The Lord said to me now. There is an evil altar in your father's compound. But it was removed and burnt and destroyed. But spiritual, the spiritual presence is still there. Because the power, pastor that removed it didn't have enough spiritual power to uproot the spiritual presence. So they only removed the physical presence, leaving the spiritual presence. Stand up. Now picture yourself in your father's compound. Picture yourself currently in that place, in the entrance of the compound. Are you in the compound? Are you in your father's compound? Now, when you pray this prayer, picture yourself moving from one room to another, one room to another. Picture yourself as you are praying this prayer, picture yourself going around the compound, entering from room to room, kitchen everywhere. The backyard everywhere. Are you ready? Pray like this. Anything buried in one compound. If you base in Portacot, or you do your you base and do your business in Portacot, say Portacot. If you base in Lagos, those watching me from Lagos. And that is what you do. You say Lagos. If you're watching me from London, if you're based in London, say London. Wherever you're based, you say call the place. Anything buried in one for compound. Frustrating all my good efforts here in Portacot. One quad compound. Frustrating all my good efforts here in Portacot. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. There is evil. I'm seeing darkness covering a particular compound. So much wicked activities going on. Today marks the end. Now, take your spirit to your father's compound. Something is about to happen. Yes. Amen. Look at me. Look at me. You know this. Shetos. You know that shetos? You know, there's a shetos they do like this. There's shetos they trade like this. There's one they do like this. Shh. Eh? You know the one I'm talking about? The one they do like this. They can't own. They spray own. <laughs> uh, close your eyes. <laughs> Picture yourself moving from every, every, side of the compound, all around the compound when you pray this one. I fumigate one co compound with the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> once, amen, once a place is fumigated, cockroaches, ants, Uninvited guests, parasites, Allah, they go. They are not invited. They are not wanted. I fumigate work or compound with the blood of Jesus Christ. 
Oh, oh, yeah, begin to fumigate, begin to fumigate. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I fumigate one cocoa pound with the blood of Jesus Christ. I fumigate one cocoa pound with the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Fumigate one go compound with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, we pray. I'm getting the message. I'm getting the message. There is somebody here. Whenever you come to church, you pray, you get revived, you get well, get okay, you feel the power of God. When you get home, you can't pray. Because of the evil presence in that compound. Take your spirit to where you live. <laughs> Put at this. I fumigate number two Greg Oboefe streets. With the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, begin to fumigate, begin to fumigate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh -huh. In Jesus, we pray. The Bible says, "Light shineth in darkness, and darkness cannot prevent." There is no way darkness can be in that shop. That your business premises, chasing away all your good customers. Take your spirit to your business premises. You call the number of that address. If you have multiple address, if you have multiple address, call the name of the headquarters. Because the headquarters distributes everywhere. I fumigate OPM. Yes, call the address of their business premises. I fumigate Omega Power Ministries. With the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. In Jesus, I will pray. It's done. Number three. Sleeping. We're talking about sources of marine pollution. Sleeping with a marine agent. As the message is going on, the reverse is going on. Sleeping with a marine agent. There are many men. Your spam now is currently in Mami Water Water. A woman was caught in Lagos, almost beaten to death. She went to go and sell nylon uh, uh, people use the uh, use the uh, tissue people use to commit fornication in a hotel. She works in a hotel. So she gathers the tissue that people used and go and sell it. But they have been monitoring her until that day she was caught. But the person she was selling to escaped. But she was pitied. The question is this, what is the person doing with that tissue? There's one I saw on Facebook. Mestra used Mestra part. He can't add it. There are many people. Currently, your money, your marriage picture, your personal picture is in Mami Water Water. Amen. There is a particular this is that was shared on Facebook. In Egypt, I don't know that they have that picture. Can they show it? If you go to our page, see it. In Egypt, husband and wife, they cage them. In Egypt, Egypt, far away Egypt. And this part, Oibo. You know, Egypt, their color is like white. 
they do the baby and lock. You see wickedness in high places. It takes one contact. Just one. Maybe when you are not born again, he didn't know when you slept that with that agent that is marine agent. Like a man that was, and my, I don't want to call the name of the church, my former church, the man ran there and was crying, crying for deliverance. He is doing well, he's working in a bank. So he went to nightclub and saw one beautiful lady. So he toasted the lady. And the lady agreed. He said, okay, let us go to my house. The lady said, no, let's go to my own house. The man followed the lady to his own house. Amen. The nightclub is in VI. They drove to Ikoi. Ikoi and VI is about less than 20 or 30 minutes, if it's not so, drive. They reached a place, the gate opened, and they drove in. Beautiful house, according to the brother. Beautiful house. And they entered into the house. The man where the thing they do and quickly, he said, okay, let's, they just went straight to the bedroom and started to commit fornication. On the process, there was a big knock on the door. And the woman, and the woman said, hey, it's my husband, no? It's my husband, no? Come. If they tell me you are married, hey, it's my old man. If he say he will kill you, oh, he will kill you. So what do we do now? He said, jump, jump out from the window. And he opened the window. This glass, uh, Almaco window. And the man climbed as he's jumping. According to him, he, he, he's a compound, he's jumping. But as he, his leg touched the ground. Back. He saw himself inside cemetery. <laughs> and he turned back, he couldn't see the building where he jumped out from. He jumped from window. Boom. Now there, in break on reset, is a man went to one go church before. He began to run for del come for deliverance. <laughs> so that trouble good. Shout hallelujah. Okay, look at it. This is this see I say lock with a lock. This is the baby. And they are using it to represent. Where is the family? They are using it to represent. Amen. So many men you see on the road with Jeep, you think they are normal human beings. They are mommy water agents. The devil is using so much ammunition. You will see some ladies, fine. He came from the water. Looking for life to destroy. See him. To fine. You look at, I'm looking for soul to destroy. You enter, your destiny ends. Okay, look at the family. Look at the family. The husband and wife. That they locked. It's written in Arabic. The pictures together. Look at the beautiful husband and wife. Look at them. They cage them. Any door, baby? Presenting me in any mammy water altar. Catch fire! Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' opening. 
know the funny thing? As they locked that thing, physically, the man, I don't, I don't know the implication. There are so many implications. It's either the woman this thing is closed or the man this thing cannot walk or something because I, I, didn't, I, I couldn't read the, the Arabic. So for them to lock the organ of the door baby, they have already programmed the spirit of the person into that door baby. Anything they do to that door baby, if they bend the neck, it will affect the person. If you turn it, it will affect it. Pure wickedness. Now, there are people, okay, look at the pictures. Look at pictures of innocent, innocent people. It's not only, only the picture of the husband and wife. There are other, maybe family members' picture that they put on, on the ground. Do you see it? Other people's picture. Not only the husband and wife, other people's picture. The, no, the other one. See, look at it. Other people's picture they put there. Pray like this. Anything that belongs to me, Currently in any mummy water altar. Amen. Whether it's your picture, whether it's your spam, whether it's your used pad, so that you don't have children. They carry the pad and put say, come and have children, make we see. <laughs> there is somebody here. Formerly, your, you had so many bank accounts loaded with money. Now, all the bank accounts are empty. They carried your bank account number and put there and closed it down. Spiritually, your bank account has been closed down. That is why money can never enter there. Only debit, 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 debit. Wickedness. Pray like this. Any of my property. Any of my property. Hmm. There is somebody here. Your complimentary card. I see complimentary card on in front of Mammy Water Altar. <laughs> complimentary card. Spiritually, they have already closed down your business. That is why you are struggling. You don't understand what you are struggling with. You are struggling, struggling, struggling. How can somebody that has more than three companies is now begging to feed? Any of my property. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Lord is listening to me. Say, pray it like this. The Lord just changed the prayer point. Just change the prayer point. Say, pray like this. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I withdraw all my properties from Mami Water Altar. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Jesus, I'm praying. Hmm. I'm getting a message. I see an altar of water spirits crying. Amen. Amen. Pray like this. Every mummy water altar crying against my restoration. He said, no, this person cannot be restored. I have an agreement with this person. This person cannot be restored. This person cannot be restored. This person cannot be restored. Every mommy water altar crying against my restoration. 
Amen. Amen. I'm getting a message. There is a sister here. The Lord say, this prayer, if you can pray it very well, between now and 30 days, you become pregnant. I don't know who you are. He said, between now and 30 days. So, your own, if you are that sister, you pray, crying against my fruit of the womb. Hmm. There is a brother here. Your ministry is under serious mommy water attack. You are going to call crying against my ministry. If it's your health, crying against my health. Every mommy water altar crying against my ministry. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. In Jesus we pray. It's done. Please sit down. How does this water spirit pollution come into people's life? Number four, going to native doctor for help. Once you go to native doctor for any kind of assistance, it means your name has entered into register. So now, when you go to God in prayer, oh Lord, please bless me. The accuser of brethren will appear. Excuse me. God, wait. God will say, why? Look at the register. His name is here. He has, he's one of my clients. His name is in my register. Look at it. Oh, stand up. Any native doctor register. <laughs> Containing my name. Catch fire! Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus, I pray. Every agreement binding me with any native doctor. That is, you made a promise to the native doctor, I will come back. I will come back. I will come back. Every agreement binding me with any native doctor. Be destroyed now by the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Jesus, oh, pray. Please, I don't know who you are. I don't know that you're a brother or a sister. Pray this one. I just got a message now. The Lord just gave me this message now. I don't know who you are. Please, pray it. <laughs> Wickedness. Every herbalist <laughs> fighting me. Amen. 
Amen. I don't know whether he was contracted to fight you or whether it's a personal thing. I don't know. But the message I got to say, fighting me, fighting me, fighting me, fighting me. Any native doctor fighting me. Die, 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 die. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. In Jesus, I pray. It's done. Please sit down. Sources of water spirit pollution. Initiation through food and drinks. That is why you have to be careful what enters your mouth. What you match is easy to go away than what enters your mouth. Not every occasion you go eat. If you cannot determine the source of the wealth of the invitee, don't eat. It's very common in Lagos. See, you see, I'm doing the burial of my great, 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 great grandparents. They invite Sonia to come and say, the key goat share food. I don't know why I see. So many rich men don't eat in an occasion. Because they know. What those people know, they know it. Shout hallelujah. Stand up. Open your two legs. Every food and drink. Make sure your two legs are open. It's a spiritual thing. You might, you might not see physically something is coming out, but spiritually something is coming out. Your two legs open. Every food and drink I consume from mommy water altar. Every food and drink in my system I consume from mommy water dining table. Be flushed out now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, pray. Hmm. I'm getting a message. I'm getting a message. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Look at you, Liveta. You serpent. <laughs> Residing in the water. Now inside the body. Oh, wickedness. Something's going to happen now. There is somebody here that is a serpent that has been planted inside your body. It has even had eggs with children everywhere. Put it like this. Every serpent inside my body be flushed out now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus to pray. I'm getting, I'm getting another message. There is somebody here. There is a strange water inside your body. The water is a mama water. water. Open your two legs. <laughs> Every strange water inside my body. Be flushed out now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If you observe, most serious prayer, we activate the blood of Jesus. Why? Because there's no power that can stand the blood of Jesus. There are some prayers 
you must pray and you must add the blood of Jesus. Without the blood of Jesus, you cannot confront that power. There are some prayers we pray normally. There are some you must activate the blood of Jesus. Every strange water inside my body be flush out now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus, oh, pray. It's done. And the message is going on, deliverance is going on. Sources of marine pollution. Being buried alive. Being buried while you are still alive. Being buried while you are still alive. You go somewhere, the deep grave. Say, enter, enter. Remove your cloth, put there, jump out from the grave. Barrier. Prayer is. Stand up. Anywhere my virtue have been buried. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I resurrect my virtue. Anywhere my virtue have been buried. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I resurrect my virtue. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus, I pray. I just got a message now. There's somebody here. There is a river in your father's compound. You can't see it to a physical eye. There is a mummy water river in the compound. Prayer is <laughs> every marine river. In the one compound. Dry up by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, pray. I saw something in the spirit realm. Stand there. Please stand there. This is a bundle of key. A bunch of keys. They are different between key and keys. Bunch of keys. Hold it. Now, Pastor Madi is here. Eh? In a dream. In a dream. In that dream, He's taking the key to go and give to Pastor Madi. And Pastor Madi was so excited in that dream. Suddenly, not, not PO, a hand came from nowhere and slapped Pastor Madi. He woke up without receiving the key. I don't know who you are. This is exactly what happened to you. These that have, could have opened so many doors. So many, because it's not one key, it's a bunch of key. All round restoration. And that dream could not actualize. It was interrupted by abortus. Pray like this. Every power assigned to abort my divine dream, you will not succeed. 
Ya man da bi gido be Jesus, I'm praying. <laughs> I'm getting the message. I'm hearing family member. Family member. You started well. You had a destination. And these are people on the same family, the same blood. He went and he went and prepared a charm with coin and threw it into the river and said, as long as this coin don't float, you will never rise. Since then, the coin has been under the water. You try to rise again, you can't rise because you have been tied down. like this. Every sacrifice done in any river to catch me down. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus, oh pray. You woman from the river. You are a brother, say woman. If you're a sister, say man. You woman from the river. Claiming to be my wife. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I divorce you. You woman from the water claim me to be my wife by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I divorce you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That's all we Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. Are you tired of being single? Are you tired of looking for a good job? Are people calling you barren woman? Do you need salvation? Dr. Jesus is the answer. If church cannot change you, what do you do? Change your church. Change your church. Change your church. Come this Sunday morning before 8 a.m. and God's general, Apostle Chibuzo, will attend to you and give you prayer assignment and your story must change. Please don't know when the role of this individual is over. The role this pastor played in my life is over. It is time for me to move to my next level. Dr. Jesus in action. God 